गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो यस्टरडे वी हैव लर्न द टॉपिक दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर एंड इन टूडेज टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर दिस इज अर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एज यू नो दैट कंप्यूटर इज कंप्राइज ऑफ मैनी इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसिस and more accurately if i'll say then a computer may be defined as a device that uh, operates upon data or information so now come to the topic that is the characteristics of computer so we'll discuss this uh, topic so characteristics means the features of computer and these all are the features of computer the first one is automatic then speed accuracy diligence versatility power of remembering these all are the features of computer and these all are uh, also the advantages and disadvantages of computer these all things like automatic speed accuracy diligence versatility power of remembering these all can come under the advantages of computer and if we talk about the disadvantages then no iq and no feeling is one of the, dis- the these two are the disadvantages of computer so one by one we will discuss these uh, characteristics of computer and uh, these are the characteristics of computer that have made the computer so powerful and universally useful so let us discuss them briefly so the first characteristics of computer that is speed so speed means that a computer is very fast device as you very well know because uh, for example a uh, one task of calculation one task of large calculation is given to the human being or to a computer also then the com- in case of uh, that the computer will perform the computer will uh, perform that work very faster because it works in fractions of second that is why so we can say that a computer is a very fast device then after that we can also say that it is capable of performing large number of calculations uh, within a seconds so this is also one point in case of uh, so characteristics of it then after that the speed of computer is measured in these terms like in terms of microseconds in terms of milliseconds nanoseconds and even picoseconds so the speed of a computer is measured in these four terms so we'll discuss it uh, uh, after this then after that a powerful computer is also capable of performing about 3 to 4 million simple operations per seconds which is a very uh, fast uh, speed of a computer that means it is capable of performing calculation of a very l- large amount of data means computer takes fractions of seconds to perform any calculations and uh, we can also say that it can perform millions of calculations within few seconds as compared to human being also now you just uh, uh, check that these the terms of or the units of uh, speeds like the speed of a computer can be measured in milliseconds microseconds nanoseconds and picoseconds so one by one you just check it like if you want to denote milliseconds then how will denote it in terms of seconds for example if you want to uh, find out like milliseconds is equals to how many seconds then we can say that millisecond is equals to 1000s of a seconds that means we can say that it is equivalent to 10 to the power minus 3 seconds then after that if we come to the next unit of uh, speed then we can say that it is uh, microsecond and it is denoted with this sign and it is equivalent to 1 millionth of a second that means if we want to denote this microsecond then it can be denoted 
in uh, 10 to the power minus 6 seconds so it is the microsecond uh, means this is one term of a speed of a computer then after that the next unit that is nanoseconds it is denoted with n s and that is equivalent to 1 billionth of a second that means we can denote this 10 to the power minus 9 seconds so you just write it in your notebook you just make one separate copy of uh, the subject and one by one you just make notes of it which i have given you in the video, uh, video lectures then after that the next unit of um, speed of a computer is picoseconds so this picosecond is represented with p s and it is equivalent to one trillionth of a second so these all are what these all are the fractions of a single second that means if you want to denote in terms of seconds then it will be denoted as 10 to the power minus 12 seconds so these all are the number of units which are used for denoting the speed of a computer then after that the next characteristics of a computer that is it is automatic in nature so we can say that computer is automatic in nature because computers are quite capable of functioning automatically means once the instructions are given to the computer once the process once the set of instructions are feeded onto the computer then they do not require any instruction from the operator at any stage of the process so that is why we can say that computer is automatic in nature and we can also say that uh, computers execute the programs in a correct sequence provided that they are programmed correctly obviously the computers are the automatic machines and they uh, everything that is given to the computer are processed and done by the computer uh, automatically according to the instruction program provided so you just take one example for example uh, you want to compress one video so and you have one software for compressing that video so what you will do you just open that particular software for compressing the video then after that you just uh, give the input to that software like uh, like uh, what uh, like the video which you want to compress you just give to that particular software you just uh, set the path of that video you just give the input then after that you just click on compress button then what will happen automatically the software will compress that particular video and it the video the compressed video will be saved in the desired folder so this is one automatic process then we can take one another example for it like you want to play uh, a list of music means uh, you want to play music in windows media player and uh, you have created one list of songs like these are the songs which i want to play then automatically one by one all the songs will get played means you don't have to select again and again like this song uh, uh, first you just play this song then after that again you have to give the command to that uh, media player that uh, play this one uh, this one song what you have to do you just set the list like these are the songs which i want to play then automatically all the songs will play it by the computer so this is known as one automatic process so that is why we can say that computers are automatic machines and they are automatic in nature then uh, after that the next uh, characteristics of computer that is accuracy so computers are very accurate because they can perform thousands of uh, they can perform thousands of uh, operations with great accuracy because set of instructions are already feeded into the computer that is why they can perform one accurate operation they can perform error free uh, result and we can also say that computer can process large amount of data and they can generate error free or almost 100% error free result because all these set of instructions are given to the computer so accordingly computer works then 
computers can perform all the com uh, calculations and comparisons accurately as again and again i'm saying that uh, it is done so because uh, the, all the set of instructions are already feeded that is why computer can perform the accurate result then the next uh, characteristics or the next feature of uh, it that is diligence what do you mean by diligence diligence means uh, for example uh, one task of large calculation has been given to the human being then and uh, he has to perform he or she has to perform that uh, particular operation that particular task 50 times then what will happen if the same operation has to be performed by the human being again and again then what will happen obviously it will the speed uh, get affected and uh, the, with same enthusiasm the human being cannot work like if 50 times you have to perform the same task then obviously with same enthusiasm the human being cannot work but in uh, in case of computer in case of computer with same speed with same enthusiasm the machine can work so that is known as diligence means as human beings suffer from physical and mental fatigue but machines are not that means they, uh, the human being cannot perform the same task over and over again with the same speed, with same accuracy and with same enthusiasm as in the first time. So this will affect the performance. So, But if we talk about a computer, then a computer can perform repetitive tasks without being bored, tired and losing the concentration. So that is known as diligence. That means being a machine computer does not suffer from such weaknesses and the computer is capable of performing the task repeatedly at the same level of speed and accuracy. If it has to carry complex operations for a long period of time, even though the computer can perform the same task with same speed and with same accuracy. So that is known as diligence. And um, the computer can continuously work for several hours, uh, several hours without the human intervention. So that is known as one of the characteristics of computer that is most important that is diligence. Hope uh, you have understood like what do you mean by diligence. Then after that the next uh, characteristics or the next uh, feature of computer that is power of remembering. So what do you mean by the power of remembering? Like uh, uh, computer has the power of storing huge amount of data or information like if you want to save large amount of data uh, into the computer then you can do so because you have the large capacity of hard disk drive means you have the large amount of uh, space in your secondary storage devices that means you can uh, store any number of files within your computer so that is known as power of remembering then after that you can understand it with the help of some definitions also like it can store and it can recall any amount of information because of its secondary storage capability for example you have stored some files within your uh, computer then after that you want to access you want to retrieve that particular file after several years means after 10 years you want to retrieve that particular file then in that case obviously the file will remain uh, uh, or will retain in the same location where you have uh, was stored it so what you have to do you have to search it into your computer like this is the file name and after that in any particular drive you can search it where you have stored it that means that same file which you have stored uh, before 10 years you can access it you can retrieve it so that is known as the term or the characteristics that is power of remembering we can also understand it uh, like uh, with the help of uh, this like um, if uh, the computer 
only forgets the data or lose the data only if the user wants means if you want to delete that particular file if you want to delete that data or the information then only it it will get deleted otherwise not otherwise it will uh, remain in the same location in your computer so that is known as power of remembering means computer has the power of storing huge amount of data or the information and that information can be stored and recalled as long as you require for several number of years so that is known as power of remembering then after that the next characteristics which can come under the disadvantages part also but uh, if we write the characteristics of computer then we include all the disadvantages or advantages into uh, into this so the last point in case of characteristics of computer that it doesn't have any iq or feelings as you uh, very well know that computer doesn't have its own iq means uh, a computer is a machine that has no intelligence to perform any task all the set of instructions are given by the human being or by the user to perform something that means computer doesn't have its own iq then after that each instruction has to be given to the computer and a computer cannot take any decision on its own that means computer uh, do have its own, computer doesn't have its own iq and computer do that work what is programmed to do so and it cannot take its own decisions so that is known as no iq then after that no feelings so as computer doesn't have any feelings or emotions it cannot make any judgment based on feelings taste experience and knowledge unlike a human being so that is known as computer doesn't have any kind of feelings so hope you have understood all the characteristics of a computer you just note down in your notebook so thank you everyone